Well, hello everybody, welcome to Replay Analysis of Vulpies and Cultures Elf versus Elf game. Um, I'll look at the teams in a second. Okay. Let's let's get the turn one out of the way. Right, so now we can look at the teams. So Toast Guy has a 90 below tackle down in tackle. Minus A V Blitzer. Um a super thrower guy, which I'm not a fan of. Um Edge 5 Leap Wrestle. Yeah, that's that's pretty decent, isn't it? Only movement seven floor. And now the skills have disappeared. Good old good old blood ball. Um Blood Step Down and Tackle, Dodge, Blood. There's a lot of dodge on this team, isn't there? There's a lot of dodge in the team. They're quite quite highly level teams. Thirteen players versus thirteen. A uh, couple of strength ups, loads of guards. So big guard advantage here. So both teams have got a mighty blow, but there's more strength and more guard on Vulpies and Coulter's sides. And uh, looks like no inducements. A babe for a babe for Vulpies and Coulter. I don't mind the logo on the time bar because it doesn't, it, you know, the, there's no, there's no spoilers. I think it's important for spoilers, but this isn't for spoilers. This is for looking to see what he could have done better. Um, can't do much about that. I think, I think Expo's the right place to get a list, even though it's horrible to expose a defenseless guy. You know, 75% knockdown. He's got tackle, so. You could argue, I guess, that you could have exposed the blood step lineman instead of the guard, but that's really... Yeah, exactly, overtime as well. Yeah, it's, it's only there to disguise overtime, is the point of that, yeah. I like the, I like the kit that this guy's got with the black foils, pretty cool. So uh, let, let's do it from Vulpies and Coulter's view rather than Chase Camp. Seeing as try hell around. What would I do this turn? Um, probably Mighty Blow this guy because he's got dodge. And so it's a 75% knockdown. And then just kind of generally carry on screening basically. The fact he hasn't followed up at all means that the, all you guys are free. Which is pretty good, isn't it? Um, so I'll just mill around this area here. Yeah, so that's really good actually, because there's no there's no pressure on them whatsoever, is there? So yeah. Oh there you go, look. Mighty blow, 75% knockdown. Off he goes. Could argue a bit too deep, but then it was so you could run through. Mm. So you've got to think about who you're exposing, isn't it? And uh, yeah, I think that's fine. You know, there's no need to elf screen or anything, is there? Um, there's no frenzy, so it could be a little bit, a little bit wider, but it doesn't really make any difference. I don't think it matters too much where it exactly yeah, people are positioned here. Individual square wise. Maybe maybe could have covered it a little bit wider. But. Hello on that one. Coming home. Uh, <laughs> it is or the England team is one of the two. Uh, so actually, his first thought would be, can you hit the guy with the ball? Um, is this a catcher? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Not really. Um, so let's get rid of the turn two. What I'd do. What I do is, 
That's <laughs> it. Uh, let's look. I would want. Um, okay. Okay. I would want to blitz this guy. Um, the mighty blow tackler again. You've got a. You've got a seventy-five percent knockdown, haven't you? You can push him there if you do, if you don't power him there if you do, and then just kind of get the team in this kind of in this kind of line, isn't it? To keep them, just kind of shepherd them a bit. Maybe he's trying to shove one guy. Uh, oh god, did the wrong thing. And then uh, maybe shove one guy. Oh, I'm doing it wrong. I'm clicking on the wrong fucking thing. Uh, shove one guy up, you know, just as a bit of a threat. Uh, maybe a blood stepper or something. One guy to be a bit of a, a bit of a threat. What blood bowl is with Harry Kane be? I don't know. I don't. I don't think there's a there's a blood bowl player that only scores touchdowns and does nothing else. Um, but if there was, that would be him. He's Gary Lineker of this generation, isn't he? This guy is getting blitzed. Oh, he hasn't got the pace of a gutter runner, has he? Nah, he hasn't got. He hasn't got any pace. Could maybe hold that. Maybe this guy, because his tackles over here. Oh no, he's got a tackle over here, so you really don't want to, you don't want to sacrifice a good player. But you could put a shit player up in his half of the pitch just to like have a bit of uh, a bit of presence in the in the opposing half. But yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much what I would have done. There you go. I think that's I think that's a fine a fine turn. Um, so there you go. The old wall cut, yeah. Would he catch it? Nah, I don't know. I don't know what he'd be. I don't know. I honestly don't know what he'd be. <laughs> There's nothing like him. There's nothing like him in uh, in in Blood Bowl because it's just nothing. It's just nothing alike, is it? <laughs> That's good cataclysm. So, yeah, I, I like that turn. That's pretty much exactly the way I would have played that. Maybe I would have had this a little bit weaker and had somebody up there. And as it happened, of course, he did get... You know, because this guy could have been there, maybe. And then... Or here. Like, just something a bit further forward to put a bit of pressure on it, on the on the ball. Maybe. Um, right. So now what have we got? I mean, it's crap because there's, in a way there's no point marking the catches, is there? So first things first is where's the blitz gonna be? It's gotta be with a tackle guy. It could be on the furthest forward guy. It could be on the defenseless guy. Defenseless guy would let you base up these guys up. Could go for an all man's basing this turn, seeing as he's got the player advantage. Um one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, no. So this guy could double GFI to base the ball. Whether that's something you would feels desirable. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could think about that at the end of the turn. This could be an all men's turn. Because could literally uh I hate how you just lose the fucking skills occasionally. <laughs> this could be an all man's turn. The fact that you got a man up. Could blitz him, base him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I could go for a kind of valuable player, could blitz this guy, that's a pretty good player to get blitzed on. Or even him as well, Agility 5, isn't it? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, with GFI. So either this guy for value, or this guy for odds. Um, and yeah, could, could pretty much base up, because got the guard and the strength. I wouldn't hate this being an aggressive turn. Um, you know, maybe it's with a tackle safety. This guy could be the tackle safety to stop him scoring. Um, in in one turn, like on the next turn. So, yeah, I would say. <laughs> right, let's get it. Let's get this and get this. 
So yeah, this guy to there at the end, because there's two GFIs. Um, is the guard, can you get guard in anywhere where he's doing anything? Not really, his players aren't that far together, are they? Um, strength four could base in there, couldn't he? Oh, guard could go in there, in between there, or in here. This guy could go in there. This guy could go there. This guy could go here. He can go there. He can go in here, can't he? Then the guard's doing something. Then he blitzes him. If it's a push, it goes there. Um, sorry, if it's a push, he goes there and he gets to hit him again. If he's a pow, maybe he goes there. And then could stick him on there. Can stick him on there. Oh, this guy, this guy wants to be the safety, but doesn't he? So he wants to be the safety, so he goes back. Um, and yeah. Yeah, Suarez is a vampire, yeah, of course. So that's probably what I would have done. Let's see what Volpe's did. I think I think this was a decent turn to go aggressive. If because if you don't go aggressive, I just don't know what you do, you know. You basically mill around doing nothing if you don't go aggressive here. Um, is a bit of a problem. So do blitz this guy. But yeah, the the guy who assisted is now essentially doing nothing, is he? Whereas if it had been, if the guard had come in round the back, he would have been basing another player. Yeah, basing him with a watch step is good actually. To be fair. But yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit, a bit of a nothing, like it doesn't, it doesn't endanger the ball, it's, it's not bad, it's not a bad turn, but <laughs> it's a, it's a milling around doing nothing turn, and, and, and that's okay, but yeah, with, with a, with a one man, I mean, look, it could have, it could have backfired terribly going all mans, so, um, so, you know, it's not to say that that's right at all. Um, that was a pretty nice player to leave exposed. Um, like, in a, in, a, in a position where he's going to get blitz, basically, there. Um, maybe it would have been better to have tried to found a, a skillless player to stand in that spot, because that was an obvious kind of weak point, wasn't it? Um, I will stream Shawnee's game if he doesn't want to do it himself, yeah, for sure. Because you've got to think about where they want to blitz positionally and where they want to blitz for value. And basically, by giving them a guy who fulfills both of those is pretty bad, isn't it? Um, so, while the, while the milling around isn't such a bad thing to do a lot of turns on defense, yeah, and milling around and then giving him a hit on, on a movement 9... Movement 9 catcher maybe isn't so good. Um, I gotta gotta pressure the ball this turn, surely. I don't know, but then again, now, now that he's gone back, you could sit, you could just sit and hold. Um, there's no need to go aggressive now. The tackle's here, there's a blodge stepper there. So could go for value, or could go for easy knockdown. He's gonna get a block, probably won't work. So you can maybe think about doing that block first. And then, if he gets the, depending where he sidestepped to, he could blitz him. Um, and yeah, I could think about putting somebody as a threat and keeping somebody as a safety. But yeah, this this could be a milling around doing nothing turn. I like this a lot more as a milling around doing nothing turn rather than last turn. Um, due to due to the fact that he you know he had guys forward and now he doesn't. Yeah, blitzing, blitzing for the highest chance of knockdown. Yeah, he came being a throw right. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, that, that's pretty good. He scored ninety nine percent of the touchdowns. Yeah. So yeah, I didn't get, and then he sidesteps to there. See, so if, if that block had been made first, see, so yeah, I think I would have made that block first because then. Depending on where he sidesteps to, 
you could then bring in your guard. I, I, I don't like so much this guard over here. Um, I would maybe just put this guard over there. And then if you make that block first, you still got like the same chance of turning over. And then if you don't knock him down, then you can use your blitz to knock him over to free players up and stuff. So I think... I think that was the play to make that block first. And then... Yeah. And then could blitz him if, if, if you had to. <laughs> it's not coming home. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Throra. Throra seems pretty good for Harry Kane. He's just, he's just good at scoring touchdowns. And he's helped by the fact that the rest of the team is garbage and can't. <laughs> See, this is the thing where having Frenzy, a bit of sideline control on this guy would have been, he couldn't have even made that play, could he? So I, I don't mind Frenzy just for the threat, even though it's not going to have an effect a lot of games. Just the threat of it does, doesn't it? Right, so now... I think this guy's got to be more central, so he can be more of a threat, can't he, particularly with the leap. But he's, so he's just, he's just gone, he's just sitting at home here with no pressure on the ball, so while he's kind of like two men down... With the ball, ball and uh, and this guy, he is two players down. But I would like at least some pressure on the ball at some point. Um, what is there to do this turn? There's a mighty blow guy here again. I would probably go for the block on him first. Then, depending on where he sidestep to, maybe blitz him. Um, maybe blitz this guy to get to get a man forward. This guy could go forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. Just to stand there and like put a bit of a threat on. Um, but blitzing him is a fine choice anyway, isn't he? Catcher with bodge step tackle. I mean this is a good play to very valuable play to blitz, so I wouldn't I wouldn't hate blitzing this guy. I don't like blitzing a guy without dodge when you've got tackle. Although, like, although it's a 75% knockdown <laughs> and a Kaz, um, you know, it just seems a bit of a waste of his of his tackle. So I would have maybe gone for this guy um, or this guy. Yeah. See, so with that block, you, then you don't blitz him, do you now? Because he's gone that way. But if he'd gone this way, then you could have blitzed him. So yeah, I think I'll probably done that block first, pushed him and then blitzed him. Probably. Especially he's one of the few tackle players. Well not few actually, there's quite a lot of tackle players both sides, isn't there? But um what tackle there, tackle there, tackle there. So he's got three tacklers. So taking out one of his three tacklers is pretty good. So yeah, I think I definitely would think about targeting him for sure. Yeah, he can't stop three plus two plus, but at least the strength four marking him. But then he gets powered. <laughs> um, yeah, right. So standing him up. So now, the fact that he's a scoring threat, and it's turn six. He's only got two turns left. The other players are in front. He's the only one behind, and he's a catcher. You've got to blitz him this turn, 100%. 100% he's getting blitzed. Um, so you're thinking about where you can get the assist from. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That would be a good place to assist from because then you've got a tackler on him. So you could only sidestep over here. So then you can maybe bring this guy in as well. And then that guy in. And then... Oh, you could even blitz him from here, couldn't you? One, two, three, four, five, six. You could blitz him from the front. So there'll be tackle on him, whatever happens. So maybe putting a guy here and a guy here or some, a guy here and a guy here. Something anyway. Get some guys in and then blitz him. So to limit his sidestep, 
could bracket him, loose bracket him, block these guys. Again, need to put somebody forward, I think. Yeah, of course. Of course, this is the only time it's a both down. All the other blocks against the 75% guys were were, not, were were like pals. And then when you finally hit Blitzer guy with block, <laughs> you get the both down. Absolutely fucking typical. <laughs> Interesting that he's letting his armor 7 guy get punched more. I'm, I'm not sure I agree with that strategy. And when I say that, I mean I don't agree with that strategy. That one's okay, because if you follow up, you get hit yourself. I would have probably followed up, though, just to hit him again on two dice. I mean, I don't know. And this is a pain, because you're giving a 2 plus dodge out here, and a 2 plus dodge out here. So, um, I think the play with this guy would have been... Maybe dodge? No, you can't dodge, because of down attacking. Mm. This guy, maybe, to here or something would have been better. Or this guy, not this guy to here. Because this guy isn't doing anything here, really. He's still doing a 3 plus 2 plus to dodge away. So if this guy was, like, in tight or loose, then he could go in there. Now, obviously, this guy could just dodge away as well. So it's it's hard because they, they've all got 2 plus... Well, they've, they've both got 2 plus dodge outs. He is prone. So this guy is more dangerous, isn't he? Um... Yeah, I don't I don't like giving them both two plus dodge outs. I would have I would have tried to avoid that somehow. That's a fine that's a fine sidestep, isn't it, getting to hit his mighty blow there. Right, so this could be a knock everyone downturn, couldn't it? Um nearly. This is the only a blitzer, so he hasn't got diamond catch. This is a catcher, so you've got to deal with a catcher, and you've got to deal with a blitzer. Just he's got mighty blow, really. <laughs> Don't have to, but you've got to deal with a catcher. So it might be better to just block this, uh, this cat, get a guard in, block the catcher, and then uh, bl maybe blitz the catcher and leave the leave this guy standing, and just hope that you choke him with guard, um, because. Yeah, he's a threat as well, isn't he? Yeah, he's got a lot of threats and just haven't got pressure on the ball, unfortunately. I would, I would say definitely put something in to pressure the ball, at least a little bit. Was was a, was not not putting someone in to pressure the ball was a mistake. Yeah, or even just like this guy. This guy could one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI. This guy actually could. One, two, three, four, five, six. This guy could one dice. Him one dicing the ball wouldn't even be bad right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. GFI. Um. Oh, he's got diamond tackle, but we could block him first. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. <laughs> diamond tackle. Yeah. But if 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 you clear this guy, it's it's worth considering like making this block before the blitz, just to see if he gets power. I guess blitzing with wrestle is the same as blitzing with tackle, isn't it? But again, I would have gone for hitting this guy first. Get a guard in here. Mm, so I would. So what you've done actually is by making this block first. By making this block first, you've let him sidestep and take him. So if if you hadn't done that first, if you'd moved the guard into here first, um, and then hit the catcher because the catcher is just so much more likely to score than the uh, than the blitzer. Yeah, yeah and, and now he makes the dodge away from the diamond tackle anyway. So yeah, that was that was the key thing there, I think. He should have gone in first because of the sidestep potential and then 2D the catcher for sure because the catcher is just so much of a bigger threat to score. 
But then he would, it looks like he's going for the Blitzer score anyway. And Reedy can't stop that if, uh, <laughs> you know. And he's got to roll some dice, but. From where you were, I think you had to just leave that guy there, I think. I think that was the only option afforded to really at that point. Could I mean could have gone for the five plus dodge? It might have been might have still been better. Got dodge might have been better than hoping he fails the the passing catch. You know it's never good to roll dice, but on you know like like low percentage dance like a five plus dodge, is never a good roll to make. But if you're alternative, is your opponent rolling a two plus and a two plus? It's probably better off doing it, aren't you? So a chance of a one turn with a movement nine. He's, he got, he's got three sidestep, has he? No, two sidestep. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the 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 turn one I would have engaged would have been like turn two or something where there was a stun and uh, a stun and a removal. Um, but yeah, he should have at least sent somebody down. Not a too valuable player, so he wouldn't have to blitz. Like you know, because he'd want the blitz in. So you could put two players down there, or you could have, but um, you could have, could have, would have, should have, um, at least put a good, at least put like some kind of threat. So he had to deal with that, I think, for sure, for sure. You got to, you got to put some threat on it on an elf, in a, on an elf stall like that. Otherwise, it's just too good for him. This is a pretty easy one turn here. Not even trying. Oh man. Oh man, you need. This isn't sidestep. This is tackle. Oh, he's he's a blitzer. That's still it's still pretty easy. It's still pretty easy. Right. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Um. <laughs> um. Whoa. Why has it gone bigger? Eh? Okay, I don't know what happened there. Right, is it easy? Let's let's have a look. I think it's probably easy. So you put a guy you move a guy into here, move a guy into here. Blitz this guy. Can't use sidestep. You push him into there, which pushes him into there, which pushes your guy forward to here. Um, all right, see a squirrel, dude. Um, these this guy started here. This guy started here. Um, so that means he pushes him into there, which pushes him, which pushes him into there. This guy moves into here, um, and now what are you looking at? <laughs> You've got one, one space to fill there, I think, or something. It's 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 hard to actually do, isn't it, with uh, in the position that we're in. I could do it against the AI, maybe after the game, but yeah, I think this is, I honestly think it's n it's not that hard. He's got three players there. It's hard with the players being here, isn't it? But the fact that you you just need the, you just needed to fill two, two spaces here to cancel the sidestep on the first one. And then he's there and you need one, you need like one or two more spaces to fill. I think it's doable. I think it's very doable, especially with having dodge guys. He does have diamond tackle on the LOS, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, perfect defense. <laughs> oh, well, forget it. <laughs> um, yeah, I think it, I think it was, I think it really was possible. Um, I think it really was, just the fact he was tight. 
I think he shouldn't have been tight. I think if he wasn't tight, it would have been pretty impossible um, if, he, if he hadn't put them tight. But because he put them tight, I think it was pretty... And he probably made it even easier, actually, but with his perfect defence. Um, but yeah, I think... I think that was really possible. Um, I mean, you had full 11 players, didn't you? Yeah, I think that was well possible. Could do it, I'll do it on an AI match afterwards. <laughs> and see if it, see if it works. But I mean, that's, uh, Yes, putting three LOS guys defense next, which is really, really bad against one turn defense. But obviously, he thought because he had sidestep, he, he had because he had three sidestep, he thought he was safe. But he really, he really shouldn't have been safe. But obviously, perfect defense, you know, it's, it ends up not being a factor. Um, but yeah, I think that was that was a hor horrible mistake. Even the sidestep shouldn't ever put them. Shouldn't ever, ever, ever put them next to each other. Against the one team. Right. I, I like one square because with two, you can power one and then get around the other one. So I think I like one square between them, personally. Right, so the question here is... Um, Three, four, three, six. There's a there's eleven players, isn't there? No, he's, he's down to ten. He's down to ten. Is uh, is toast guy seven? So now the question here is: Volpe's in Colter. What is the situation in your league and everything? And do you feel like you have to go for a win here, or or are you happy with a draw, or or what? <laughs> What is your frame of mind? You wanted to win. Um, okay. So first of all, with that in mind, with that in mind, wanting to win, the best way to do that is by forcing him to score before turn eight on defense. So definitely wanting to win necessitates a more aggressive defense than the first half. Um, had I played that first half, I would have probably settled for the draw now and tried to stall out for a 1-1. One, one. Um, he does, however, have the leap wrestle, so he's always going to be able to leap in, but you do have a strength 4 blodger to carry. Yeah, strength 4 blodger to carry. So he can leap in and, and uphill with only wrestle, but that's not that good. And so, And with having the men advantage and being KOs, at this stage, I would have tried to grind out a 1-1 draw. Because um, I would have felt that I had let the chance to win slip, basically. Um, so yeah, if I really wanted to win, I would have played hard on defence, for sure. Like At the end of the day, that's, um, it, is, it is nasty a little bit. It is a little bit nasty, but the fact he's uphilling with only wrestle, he doesn't have tackle, he doesn't have dormers. Um, it could be a lot like it's it's going to be much better against some teams but with the strength four blodger you're uh he doesn't have strip um yeah so it, it it's it's nowhere near as scary as it could if he had strip it would be terrifying <laughs> it would be completely terrifying and then you would have no choice but to score early on on your offense or or else stall like he did I guess, I guess, I guess the way he played was dictated by your strength for Leaper as well, you know, because he didn't want to, he didn't want to get, um, he didn't want to get hit by this guy, did he? So, you know, by moving, by moving anybody close to him, he would have had to make some kind of play. Um, but because he didn't move anyone next to him, he wasn't under any pressure and didn't have to expose the ball to getting hit by this leap guy. Not that that would have necessarily been the player to leap in, but... Basically wasted the th well, no the threat of the leap made him play the way he did but then didn't get any benefit from it in terms of pressuring him. Uh, 
there's only two tackles. The bad thing about carrying this guy as well, it's one less tackle to have, isn't it, on the on the team. Could maybe have carried the strength four catcher, level him up and also um you know that this guy hasn't got block because his attack has got wrestle. So you could have potentially carried with a catcher to give another tackle there. To get another tackle there around to punch things. He's got a lot of dodge. He's got a lot of dodge. I would definitely want to move up down this left side now for sure. You get a mighty blow, 75% knockdown, could run around and injure an additional block as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Um, and then could like really make it think. But then this is the thing, you know, if you're trying to score early to win, then you've got to think about getting catches up to do something, haven't you? So it makes it a bit harder based on your like mentality and expectations of what you want. I'm getting the knockdown anyway. Yeah, I, I would have run around probably to, to get the additional block on him if it wasn't on the like, may, Maybe I wouldn't have, but I think that would have been the better play. <laughs> maybe I wouldn't have done that, but I would think that I would have, should have done. If you see what I mean. Yeah, it's good not having a GFI, is it? If that, if that had been, uh, meant a GFI, it would have been a bit annoying. I don't like basing here unless it's with three people. I don't like not having somebody there, um, just in case he runs around somehow. But, was that a dodge through? Dodge through diamond tackle, dirty Dino. Um... Yeah, but I mean, that, that was fine, isn't it? It's a, it's a strong push down the side that he left open. I'll, I'll, I do like him having there. I like having him there. I, I probably wouldn't have dodged through the diamond tackle, but I mean 75%, isn't it? And it, it, it's also got a 50-50. It got a, got a well, you've got a 50-50 chance of putting his player on the ground, haven't you? And a 1 in 4 chance um, that he's on the ground and you're through and then that's really good isn't it um so i diamond tackle can be a negatory can't it you know it can just put people on the floor and completely out of position so that might have that might have been really worth it just for the chance of, of yeah the bad thing is though because you've got a good player exposed he's getting hit by might blow tackle um and that's the thing, like he was, you know, like that was the thing. If you were going to threaten the ball carrier last half, I would have wanted to do with like kind of lower priority targets just because they would get blitzed, like that guy was blitzed. Um, so maybe like having this guy, obviously you couldn't have done it through the diamond tackle, but having somebody like this lineman up, up further up as a scoring threat is, is safer, isn't it? I didn't like this base without somebody to help him, but it looks like he's done its job and uh, got him to just dodge away. Now you've got to blitz this guy now. Um, and can have quite a strong cage around the ball. The bad thing is he can sidestep into the cage, so you need to have assist from here. Maybe went a bit too far forward there. Um, no, I'm not going to blitz him, I'm going to blitz him. I mean, that's okay to blitz him, but I would have blitzed this guy. Just because he's got tackle and he's, he's, you know, he's a catcher. He's just really good. I, would, I think maybe there's been a bit too much blitzing for... Maybe there's a bit too much blitzing for attrition. Yeah, I would, I would say that. Maybe, maybe there's a bit too much blitzing for attrition because although you're getting the 75% knockdown instead of the 55% knockdown, um, first half he had two he had two reserves so you know you're not you're not going to get a full benefit over the over the whole game for removing these guys it's really only for the drive so 
the drive's going to be over next turn because you're going to score. So you might as well just go for the high quality player there, I think. Um, and also on defense, when you were using on defense, you were getting a man advantage for the for the drive. So there, but then you weren't translating that into ball pressure. So I think again, yeah, on defense there was a couple of turns when I would have hit the catcher with the mind blow. I think. Oh, a couple of cheeky GFIs. I do that shit all the time and fucking... <laughs> it increases your, your position marginally, but then <laughs> inevitably leads to the odd, the odd elf death. So, I mean, I do it all the time, so I can't really criticise you for it. But um, I, do that all, I do that all the time as a shot to nothing. Oh, let's make two GFIs, see if it works. Yeah, it does. It does protect the. It does protect him. I think one GFI would have probably protected him as much. Yeah. Yeah. yeah look, I would have done the same. I, I, you know, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. <laughs> you know, it's easy to roll a one and he dies, isn't it? <laughs> I just do that shit. I do that. I do that all the time. So um, yeah, I, I would have probably done the same to protect him. Yeah. But. Then, then I'd roll a one and die and be like, fuck's sake, why did I even do that? <laughs> so he's giving you the score if you, if you want it. He's also offering up either of his either of his catches. Uh, on three dice, could get on, on either catcher. Or you could stall. So, I mean, seeing as you've set out that you want to win, scoring here is, is absolutely fine, isn't it? I like the four turn score. Puts a bit of a bit of pressure on the uh, thing. Yeah, could have made that three dice there for sure. If if you're gonna score. Yeah. So I mean, I I I wouldn't have. I would I would have played for the draw there with, with the man advantage and essentially failing on defense. I would have, I would have settled for the draw, and just caged up on everything and uh, waited it out. So yeah, now now it's just super hard, isn't it? It's just stopping scoring basically because the pro wells and and scoring in and scoring in a couple of turns is what they do, isn't it? With this super. Super duper thrower, strong arm thrower. <laughs> um, that's that is just what he does, isn't it? And uh, nerves of steel catchers. They're all the kind of crap skills from this team um, are coming into effect now, aren't they? Because is this dump off the other one? Oh, I'd say throw even. Oh my god! So he's he's absolute pure passer. Um, can't get intercepts against him. P Diddy. Do you use strength and guard to try and deny him blocks? Could do. I wouldn't hate going heavy here, although it's I would keep the strength four tackler back, wherever he is. Is he not a strength four tackler? Oh no, he's not he's not a strength four yeah, he is a strength four tackler, yeah, so I'd keep the strength four tackler back. Um I want another guy here on the on the line there because it's just better, isn't it? <laughs> um, maybe he's double guard here, and then another. So maybe the, the the blodge guard could go there. So you've got double guard there, strength four there, and then maybe this guy could go up there, and then. Um, you know, mighty blow guy here and strength guy here or something. Straight away he couldn't have made that. Oh my god, he killed him. Good god almighty, he killed him. Uh, but he couldn't have blocked from that direction if he'd had a guard there. <laughs> At least the apple worked. I mean that—that's just a, there's nothing you can really do about that because 
the fact that you know they got the perfect defense it's natural to stick the strength for guy on the guy in his own and stuff isn't it And to be fair, with these two here, that wouldn't have mattered if that was a guard who just still got hit. But yeah, he can one dice, whereas if there was another player there, he couldn't have done. So yeah, that would have, that would have made everything harder to crack with an extra player. Yeah. Surely this guy has to go forward now. Yeah. And this is the thing, you've like, because you're going for the win, you've got to think about going for the win, haven't you? And not just trying to stop him scoring. Because if, you, if, you, if you're scoring early to win, there's then no point playing to just stop him scoring, is there? Um, so, I would have definitely run this guy forward a bit. Because you're not gonna, you're not gonna turn him over by defending properly. <laughs> Basically. I mean, you can hope he rolls ones and stuff. But, Hoping he rolls a double one or two on the pass and a double one on the catch is not is not good, is it? It's best to be proactive against out, I think. Getting the armor breaks now, isn't he? That's making the defense harder and harder, isn't it? Going down there. But the, the perfect defense was was a bit was a bit shit because it was a bit of a trap, wasn't it? Really, that was the problem. Put you guys in contact, got them all knocked over, stunned, killed. <laughs> uh, wasn't ideal. Got a nice sidestep here though. Yeah. Now we're finally gonna see pressure on the ball. For sure. It's a shame you can't really blitz him with tackle. Right, so what, what would I do? They're not a lot. Stand up these two. You've got to unfortunately. Even though they're gonna get tackled down, you've just got to stand them up, haven't you? Movement nine guy. You could blitz this guy, one, two, three, four, five, six, could blitz this guy and then move him up to threaten the ball. And while this leaves you horribly exposed to a pass, I just feel like there's nothing else you can do. Maybe this guy could just tag him, but tagging him doesn't do a lot. Movement nine guy could move forward to like here, and this guy could move forward to here. So you've got two threats and you can only blitz one. And then, then maybe blitz him with a tackle. Yeah, that's, he's a pretty good player at the blitz, isn't it? Actually, this catcher. So yeah, I, I don't hate blitzing him, but yeah, I think there's movement nine. I would have got forward. I think movement nine forward, like here or something. And then lineman, lineman forward to like there in the middle where it is. He's got a two plus dodge out. But I, I guess you stop this 2 plus dodge out. But now the fact you've dodged you can't, so this guy isn't doing a whole lot. Because there's a 2 plus dodge out this way. And there's a 2 plus dodge out this way. So this guy, and there's a 2 plus dodge out that way, so this guy isn't really doing a whole lot standing there. Uh, maybe here, so there's a screen there. And then he could have stood there, so there'd be a screen across. Or something, make some kind of screen or... You know, something. <laughs> um, just some kind of shape rather than. Um, these are just 
these three are essentially are in random points and they're not doing anything. Whereas if this guy was here and this guy was here and this guy was here, they would be screening off the, the field, wouldn't they? Um, or if this guy was there, he'd be double based and stuff. Even putting him in base-to-base -base contact because he can't get hit because of the guard and stuff. And, uh, this just seems like, yeah. Not really doing anything, I would say. I mean, got a guy forwards. This guy would have been, is more or less where I would have put the catcher. The only thing is I wouldn't have put him one square away from there because then he could have got blitzed into the tackler. Um, it's not so important with the guard guy because the guard guy is just going to eat the tackle. For the, he, he's just going to eat the mighty blow tackle blitz. But... The uh, the other one I would have put like yeah the catcher would have put here or something, which would have then made his play a little bit trickier, wouldn't it? He would have got powered though, and he would have got his armor broke. <laughs> so yeah, I would have put him more central as well. Yeah, this guy would have been absolutely central just because he's moving six and it's it again it's too easy for him to get out out the way of him uh, by having him over to one side so I would have absolutely put him in the middle and then then it would have just been a GF fight one dice in this turn and had he not had he not broken armor here if this had been the movement nine guy one two three four five six and then that would have been two pretty pretty easy but yeah, he's still got the two plus dodge out, hasn't he? That was the that was the killer there. If this guy had been here and that had been a three plus two plus, um, he might have failed. Yeah, yeah, definitely Volby is included. It's not it's not terrible. Obviously, nothing nothing's gone terribly wrong here. Um, But it, it's L's, isn't it? So it's always pretty easy for them to score and stuff. I think I would have gone for the one dice in the ball round. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, what? what? Oh no, because he wasn't in the middle. If he'd been in the middle, he could have gone for the. He could have gone for the one dice in the ball, but he wasn't in the middle, so he couldn't. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, you got to think he's movement six, isn't he? And by going there, he could outrun him basically, which he did. Is he going to score this turn and get a blitz next turn? It looks like it. But yeah, I think that's it. Against, against the elves, you've got to think about what you're actually... Yeah, ma making his dodges more difficult or... You know, where standing the exact position. When 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 you're expecting them to make dodges, you've got to think about what you're actually doing dodging dodging wise. No, it's a steel making it a two plus. Disgusting. And this is the thing like basing him unfortunately doesn't really do a whole lot, does it? Even though you're basing his receive with a strength four tackler, it's still a two plus with a reroll and then a two plus without a reroll. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it is hard, isn't it? You know, there's not there's not a whole lot you can do against that. But if you you know like that's the thing you did get forward and then he scored the like a couple of turns later. So if you'd done that on turn two or turn three and you'd score on turn five, then you've got four turns to score back. You make it one one at the half, and then you stall out your half and it's it's two one win, isn't it? So basically, by doing it the other way around, by playing a kind of passive defence, he stalls out at turn one and then till turn eight, and then because you want to win, you two one grind yourself. <laughs> Basically, is what happened there, wasn't it? Whereas if you'd been, you know, if you'd just been happy with taking the draw, you could have drawn, couldn't you? So, yeah, I think definitely harder defense was the way to uh, was the way to get the win. Now, if there's eleven players here, yep, so there's still the chance of the one turn here. I'm sure there's a one turn chance. Oh, kick makes it harder as well. All right. Oh, 
that's going to be some bullshit now then, isn't there? I like getting the uh, getting the guys forward first in case of any bad rolls, of course. I like not moving these as well, so you can get more hits because you really really want to knock them over, don't you? <laughs> This is the thing, he's fucking blood steppers on the LOS. He's just got to run back now to protect the ball. Yeah. Ish. How was that? I think that wasn't, that wasn't so bad. I think maybe... Maybe should have gone more... Well, definitely should have gone more central with this. Because the fact that you're moving six. Getting the ball. Um, having it over to one side isn't very good, is it? So maybe he's could have done some more blocks on the LOS to see where he was sidestepping to. And then this formation could have been in the middle, couldn't it? Which would have been giving you more options. The only thing is, if you turned over, then you turn ends and you haven't got a scoring threat, you feel pretty fucking stupid. <laughs> Which I have done before, many a time. But yeah, if, if this was a full cage in the centre, that would have been a lot better, wouldn't it? For uh, giving you more options to go either way and stuff. And a lot, a lot closer to the ball. Because you know the ball's over here and you know you're only moving six and stuff. So, yeah, I definitely would have had this whole thing over here, basically. Yeah, because now... Um, is this guy in scoring range? No. And he should have been in scoring range. <laughs> But now, because you're over to one side, he he can do this. Whereas if you're in the middle, he he can't really, can he? He could have, uh, you could have had three here and stuff. You could have gone three two three the way he went. But if the catch is there and the other ring scoring range, it becomes a lot harder and to cover the whole pitch instead of just a half of the pitch. And then he blitzes the ball and gets the knockdown and the stun. And now it's just now it's an absolute dicing, isn't it? Basically. That's just, that's just dice. You can't you can't feel bad about losing three. Uh, that's just fucking health bullshit, isn't it? Basically. No, it's two days anyway. So if if it if it. If it it would have been better to have not followed if um, if you had another GFI to get closer if you if you were going to use it, but seeing as you weren't and didn't, it was better to follow to get tackle on him. Could have made that three dice, couldn't he? Uh, no, he doesn't have any dice. <laughs> Maybe he could have done. No problem at all, Vulpies. Hopefully, hopefully you got something out of it. I'm, I'm never, I'm never confident when I do the, uh, when I do the old replay analysis things for, for people. But um, yeah. Um. Hopefully, good. <laughs> and yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't terrible, was it? Like, that's good. That's good. I'm happy. I'm happy that you that you liked it, and uh, <laughs> thought you played better than you did. Yeah. No, I thought I thought you played fine. I would I would say, but that's it, isn't it? It's just it was just the mentality of that was the problem. Basically, you played the first half like you were happy with a draw, but you weren't happy with a draw. <laughs> so you played the second half like you weren't happy with a draw. After playing the first half, like you were happy with the draw, which which is which was the which was I think was the strategical error basically, um, and then 
on the tactical side of it, yeah, there was some times where the positioning could have been better in terms of thinking about what you're making the other elves do. Um, like, you know, if you're cutting a 2 plus down to a 3 plus, or if you're cutting a 3 plus 2 plus down to a 3, 3, 2, or something like that. Um, or, or at least, you know, making screens and stuff. Right, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.